Hi, my name is Shane and uh, I live in North Carolina and this video is about my wind turbine and solar panel installation. And here we have the transformer that comes from Progress Energy and that's where we used to get most of our power. So the power feeds from the Progress Energy transformer come through the ground here around the back of my house and into this meter base right here so basically what happens is the feeds come in to the bottom here and that conduit into the meter base and then I've run feeds coming out of the top they go around into this conduit here and then into the bottom of this disconnect panel. So the feeds come in from the bottom and they go to the top of this disconnect panel. And then there is the disconnect handle. And then these are the feeds coming from the bottom terminal switch come down and go into this conduit right here and this goes inside my house to my what I'm calling the grid type panel here's the sticker that Progress Energy gave me when I first got my uh, my meter my time of use meter and um, they put these stickers on um, all uh, disconnects um, to disconnect the um, renewable energy power source from the grid and so that's the disconnect so here's the new grid type panel this is what I installed after the fact and you can see where from the outside coming from the disconnect this conduit comes in through the wall here goes up into the top of this panel and then onto the main lugs just like you'd see in a normal main panel and what's happening is you see these wires here these are number two and they're gone they're uh, connected to a double pole 60 breaker so basically these wires go to my two 3648 outback inverters and these are the grid circuits coming into the panel or into the inverters so these wires if you follow them up they go into this conduit right here and into that junction box and from that junction box they go through this conduit that's in the ceiling and if you follow with me it's going through the ceiling here down into this this junction box here which is kind of hard to see Get this lamp okay there we go so come in here and there's a conduit on the back of this box that goes through the wall and outside headed towards the power station and if you'll notice here this is my original panel that I installed when I first built my house this is what we had before we had any kind of solar panels or wind turbine and what used to happen was that the main feed from the top of the meter base would come through here through the wall down into the panel and then into the top of these two lugs which of course you see there's nothing connected anymore because basically I took the service entrance feeds that came into this panel I pulled them out and then I redirected them into this panel here so this became the new grid connected panel and if you look at there's a junction box right here that I was talking about before where the two grid tie circuits come from the outback inverters and they come into this panel here onto the double pole 60 which is right here 
well also in this junction box there's this conduit here which is connected to the old main panel and there's another double pole 60 here and that is connected to two number twos and these two these two number two wires go into this conduit up into this junction box here and they also run into this conduit across the ceiling to the outside towards the power station and what these two circuits are are the backup the, this is the backup circuit and if you look up here you'll see that right here these wires these wires this is my stove dryer heat pumps all these circuits used to come right down in this group of cabling and into this panel what I did is I pulled them out redirected them into these 4 and 11 16th junction boxes right here and all these circuits now come down into the new grid tie panel that I installed and basically what that means is when we lose grid power right here when we lose grid power here uh, we can't use any of the heavy load circuits because they're connected to the grid panel but everything else is on this backup panel like my uh, water pump and my well um, the blower unit that's in this uh, evaporator coil for my AC that's in there in the backup the microwave all outlets and lighting in the house is on this backup panel so this runs entirely on batteries when the grid gets disconnected from progress energy so that's that these are some really nice connectors that I bought um, to join these number twos together and they're called uh, ISR 1 slash 0 which, which is 1 aught made by Polaris yeah so anyway that's what they look like So if you look right here, um, this is the other side of the wall where the junction box was in the basement. That's headed outside, and there's the conduit. It's just a um, an LB conduit, and that goes in the ground, and that heads out towards the power station. And you can kind of see where the yard's messed up, where I had to get a uh, my father-in-law has a backhoe and he basically dug up the yard for me to get the conduit in there so here's the power station so we're coming up on the power station now basically this is just a a uh, a little building made out of a bunch of rough cut wood and it's got a tin roof on it it's uh... dried in it doesn't get any water in it and a lot of the framing came from pine logs that um, were cut down to make room for the wind turbine as you can see So coming from the house, the uh, two grid tie circuits and the uh, two backup panel circuits along with uh, two neutrals are coming from the house into the shack power station. Another LB here going in there to the power station. On the other side of this wall, kind of comes into this junction box here. 
and you can see the uh, connect the uh, wires are connected together with more Polaris connectors.